everyone and welcome to my youtube channel. Today in this tutorial we'll write a python program to display the multiplication table of entered number. So the input of our program is a number integer number and output is nothing but we need to print the multiplication table. For example if I take the number as 5 then I need to print 5 1s are 5, 5 2s are 10, 5 3s are 15 till we'll print 20, 520 is 100, we'll print till 20. Okay, so this is the input, this is the output. So let's write the program. In the Python file, first we need input. So I'll take n as the variable to store the user entered input. And I'll use input function to take input from the user. So here I'll write enter the number. So this is the number for which we'll display the multiplication table. So here we want integer number because we are printing the multiplication table of integer number here. Because here we are using Python 3 and in Python 3 by default this input function will take input as string value. But here we want integer number that's why we used int function to convert string input to integer input. Now the entered number will be the integer number that will be stored in the variable n. So next we need to print the multiplication table right like this. Here we can see so phi is nothing but the entered number here in our case that is the n value okay. So we want to print n first followed by here we can see the multiplication symbol okay. So we need to print multiplication symbol. Next followed by here we can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 till 20. So we want to multiply 5 with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 till 20 right. We need to do this multiplication again and again and we need result. So that's why I'll use a loop. Here I'll use for loop. I'll take for i in range. So I'll take from 1 to 21. Why I took 1 to 21? 1 is nothing but start. Start from here. Right? 21 is nothing but end value. But in the range function, end is exclusive. That is nothing but when I take range from 1 to 21, we'll get value from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 till 20. Okay? So that's why I need to take 1 to 21 here. If you have any confusion about this, you can experiment with this. Right? Right. Inside this for loop, I want to print the multiplication table. So as I said, I want to print 5 multiply 1 is equal to 5, the result. So first, 5 is nothing but n value. So I'll take n value. Here I need multiplication symbol. So I'll write this in the double quote. So it will print as it is. Next here, i value. So 5 multiply 1. I want to print like that, right? And here the equal symbol. This is for the display, right? And next we want the result. To multiply the values, I'll use multiplication symbol, right? So n multiply i will give you the result. Now, if I execute this program, save and execute. So enter the number. So I'll take 5. Here we can see 5 1s are, 5 2s are, 5 3s are, 5 4s are, till 20. It is not in the proper format. If you want to change that here, you can format n and i, just format, give two space, format, two space and here give a space. Now if I execute this, so I'll enter 4, here we can see. If you want to give proper space between each value, you can format the output, right? So I'll give you the link of this format function, how to use that in the description box. You can go and check that. Now here, I took the range here till 21. If you want to change that, you can do that. Here, I'll take a variable r and I'll take the user input for that. I'll ask the range. That is till where you want the multiplication table and here instead of 21 you can take r plus 1. So now if I execute this so enter the number I'll take 5 
enter the range till where you want this multiplication table so i want till 10 if i enter here we can see 6 if i want till 25 right we can see till 25 here here we can see and next if i want to display the multiplication of two variables how to do that that is i want to display something like this here we have a multiplication table of 5 after this multiplication table i want to print the multiplication table of 10 like this then how to do that so for that i'll remove this range so i'll take the n1 and here i'll take n2 we need to print two multiplication table right now so we need two numbers now so here enter the second number so in the for loop here i'll take till 21 let's print the multiplication till 21 and next here we are printing the multiplication table of n1 next i want the multiplication table of n2 right so copy this and here paste this and here n2 take n2 and we want this in the same line right so here after this you need to take end as i'll take slash t and here after printing this i'll take a print function this is for new line so now let's execute this program first i want the multiplication table of 5 next the second number is 10 so here we can see 5 ones are 5 10 ones are 10 5 twos are 10 twos are 5 threes are 10 threes are like this so if you don't want this extra space between each uh, row then you can remove this print function right we'll get output like this so now why i used end as slash t in the print function by default end is nothing but slash n that is once when i use print function after printing the content of that uh, function it will go to the new line for example print function works like this when i say print here i'll print hi if i print the hello here it will print these two statements or message in the new line first it will print hi next in the next line it will print hello here we can see right because here by default end is slash n so after printing this message it will go to the next line if i change that if i want to change that i can take end as here space empty string anything right if i take space here after printing hi control will be remain in the same line it will print a space next it will print this message hello so i'll show you it will print hi space next hello here we can see here in our program also we want the same thing that is after printing 5 multiply 1 equal to 5 i want to print 10 multiply 1 equal to 10 in the same line right so that's why here i took n is equal to slash t slash t means tab here we can see 2 multiply 1 equal to 2 it will print that after that after that here we can see a tab 3 multiply 1 equal to 3 it will print in the same line after that here in this print function we didn't use the end statement so it will take the default value slash n so it will go to the new line to print this okay so in this way this program works it will ask the user to enter the number if i enter 2 it will ask the user to enter the second number if i enter 3 then for i in range 1 to 21 so print format this so it will print n1 and next 2 space space or the placeholder for this n1 is 2 next it will print multiply symbol next i i is nothing but 1 2 3 4 5 okay it will change in each iteration next n multiply i so it will print the result Okay, so in this way we can print the multiplication table of the given integer number. So that's it for now guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will meet you in next class. Till then, take care.